welcome to Maths with Nile. Today we're learning about 2D shapes. Hi Nile, and you have some 2D shapes behind you. Should we start with the first one on top? Yes. How many sides does that shape have? Three and it's called a triangle. Great, so can you get the number of sides and the name to match that shape? Three, Three sides. sides. Um, Triangle. Very good. What about the shape under the triangle? It has four sides and it's called a square. So, is it called a square because it has four sides? Are all four-sided shapes called squares? No. So what about this shape makes it a square? All the sides are the same length. All the sides are the same length. And all the angles are the same, but we'll learn about that later on. Okay, so go on, get the number of sides and the name of that shape. Four sides! Um, square. Square. Very good, get your magnet. What about the shape under the square? That's called a rectangle and it, and by the way on this one all the side so like these there's two pairs of um parallel lines parallel lines in the square and what about the rectangle? There's also two pairs of parallel lines. Okay, and what can you tell these us about two, the opposite sides? Um, so these two are the same length and these two are the same length. Very good. <coughs> and that shape also has how many sides? Four! Okay, so put the information on the board. And that's proof that not all four-sided <laughs> shapes have... Are called squares. Yeah. Or have all four equal sides. Rectangle. I have the rectangle. Okay, you were talking about parallel sides. What parallel lines? What makes two lines parallel? Like when they never meet. They never meet. So they have equal distances apart, and no matter how long it goes, they will never meet. Mm, yeah. Basically. Okay. So what about the next shape under that? Um, Are you looking for clues in the words? Yeah. First of all, can you describe that shape? It has um, four sides. Yes. It is... Does it have any parallel lines? It has one pair of parallel lines. These two. Okay, it has one pair of parallel lines. So what do we call a shape with four sides and one pair of parallel lines? Um, it starts with a T. Let's see. Trapezium. Very good. Trapezium. <laughs> and it has well, we have lots of four sides. We have. What about the shape under it? Stand to the side so we can have a look. The shape under it. This is called... Why don't you describe it first? It has four sides. Yes. Does it have any parallel lines? All the sides. It has two pairs of parallel lines. Two pairs of parallel lines. And I think it's called a... Parallelogram? Yes, it is. Very good. So the shape that has two pairs of parallel lines called parallelogram. What? What shape does it look like? But it it's, looks kind it's, a, of... it's basically a rectangle that's slanted. Yeah, that's it. It looks like a, a slanted rectangle. Basically, that's what it is. And this is a slanted square. Oh, it does look like that. Which is called... So how many sides does a parallelogram have? You didn't put the Ooh, sides in. Four. Okay. Four, 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 four. Okay, so what's the difference between 
that parallelogram in the next shape because it looks quite similar to me. Can yeah, they, they basically, so this is just a square slanted and this is a rectangle slanted. So the one on top, let's not use the word rectangle or square, but let's describe the properties. Remind us what yeah. the one on top had. It had two pairs of parallel lines. And the one below, does it also have two pairs of parallel lines? Yes. But what's the difference? What's the difference? The difference is... Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's go back to the rectangle and the square comparison. Yes, that's the standard rectangle and that's... And what's the difference between a rectangle and a square? Um, a rectangle has two pairs of... Um, a rectangle um, has, yeah, two pairs of different sized lines. So they have two pairs of equal sized lines. So the opposite sides are equal. Yes. So can you use that now to that definition to explain the next shape? The and and this one or the sides are the same length. All the sides are the same length. So it is well, a parallelogram. On but this a... one not all the sides are the same length because we can make it exactly the same. No, I think I got it pretty good, thank you. I think pretty so. good. So let's compare. So it is a type of parallelogram because the opposite sides are parallel. But the difference is, can you turn it the other way? The difference is that all the sides are equal. And what do we call that type of parallelogram? We call it a rhombus. Very good. So let's get the names up there quickly. I don't know why rhombus to me sounds familiar. And the number of sides. I like the name rhombus. Okay, so just before we move on to the other shapes, you've got quite a few shapes there now with four sides. So yeah, look at me. All the shapes with four sides, by yes. the way. So there, if somebody asks you what is the name of a shape with four sides, you shouldn't say square or rectangle. There's one word that describes any shape with four sides. Do you know what it is? Oh, yes. Can you say it again? Quadrilateral. Quadrilateral. Good. Quadrilateral. So let's get a magnet and put that somewhere close to the number fours. Um, you can put it... Mm, oh, I know where. We can put it here. Okay, yeah, that's fine. So all of those four-sided shapes are called... Quadrilaterals. Quadrilaterals. Good. Let's go to the next side. Now, those shapes are already placed in order of their number of sides. Yes. So the first one on top, how many sides? Are five. There? Five. So let's put the number five. And what is a five? What's the name of a five-sided shape? Mm -hmm. Heptagon. No. Oh, octagon. Octagon. No, that's eight. Yes, octagon is eight. Try again. Pentagon? Pentagon. Pen so, a shape with pen five sides is called a pentagon. So, put that name up there. Pentagon. So, how many sides does the other, the other one have? And I know you know this one. What's a You six? either call it a hexagonal prism? No, wait, yeah? No. no that's, that's for 3D. That's for 3D. Yeah. It's definitely yeah, not a prism because a yeah. prism is 3D. Prism 3D. Okay, so. Hexagon. Hexagon. Okay, good. Get the name up there and the number of sides. Okay. Um, hexagon, hexagon, hexagon. I think octagon and hexagon are my favourite shapes here. Put the number of sides up. Six. Good. Now, next shape, seven sides. Seven sides. He heptagon. Heptagon, good. Has seven. Hmm. 
eight sides. We don't have enough numbers here. Don't worry, keep going. Eight. Yeah. I'll put the eight sides here and it's called an octagon. Eight sides is octagon, very good. Only two more to go. Decagon and Nunagon. So which one is? Decagon. Look, do the nine sides first. Which one is nine sides? Nunagon. Decagon. It's ten sides. And you don't have the ten. So grab this pen here and write the ten. My favourite colour green. Very good. What's that, Niall? Okay. <laughs> right, so put the pen down. Now it's time for a quiz. Yes. So look at me. What is the name of any four sided shape? A square! No. Rectangle! <laughs> no. Of anyone, a square and a rectangle are examples of four sided um, shapes. Um, um, okay, have a quick look, see if you can. Parallelogram! Find. That's another example of a four sided what? shape. What? The one that can be any four sided shape. If any Try shape. That, that's another example. That's an example. Oh, yeah! It's quadrilateral. Quadrilateral, okay, good. <laughs> Okay, so now, what is the name of an eight-sided shape? Octagon. Very good. Three-sided shape? Triangle. Ten sides? Decagon. Very good. Now, listen to the question. What is the name of a quadrilateral with only one pair of parallel lines. Quadrilateral. So how many sizes of quadrilateral have? It has four. Okay. One with only one pair trapezium. of trapezium. <laughs> you were looking <laughs> Yeah, but I knew it had a trapeze, but then I forgot what's the last bit. Okay, well that comes to the end of the lesson. Hope you enjoyed it and if you did, subscribe now. Bye!